Hey, I just stopped by at a site we did, I don't, it seems like it's been almost three years. It's been two years since we put in uh, the first solar driven chiller, the MHRC2 from Multiaqua. And uh, just checking on everything, make sure everything's working, chiller's working, uh, working and working well. And uh, again, this is the place where we're working on making uh, solar ice, taking and converting solar power into thermal storage using ice banks from Calmac. Right now, we're uh, they're cooling this office building, and uh, they've cut they've cut the power in half, and. Uh, so I stop in here from time to time and see, get an update on how things are running. They're always coming up with a lot of new, innovative equipment at Multiaqua. And so it's just fun to stop in and see what they're doing. So this is uh, the original chiller we put, that we put the inverter in. And uh, so eventually just picture that being a solid, that the sun is making that into a 30. Well, that one's actually a 45 ton hour thermal storage tank. So that could be solid ice and that would be mixed with the output of the chiller to cool this to cool this space to condition this space um, there's some really cool things coming down the pike with uh, some valving they're working on all, always working on some new innovative products when it comes to comfort so check out multiaqua.com when you get a chance and uh, see what they're up to but uh, it's making this is just a perfect day of to make ice here's the uh, two arrays when it comes to thermal storage, a lot of people are just thinking heat storage, uh, storing hot water. But uh, don't rule out storing cold water or making ice. Um, once you get to ice and you're melting it, you have a tremendous amount of power. So we're looking at, um, you know, in this 30-ton hour tank of ice, you know, you could run a 5-ton heat pump for 6 hours off of it worth of uh, cooling. So. All right, so we're going to check out here. I think that's enough. I uh, wanted to give you a little update on chillers and eventually at my house, hopefully hooking it with a Solark stacked 12K and some lithium batteries, we're going to go off the grid. And so we'll have a good combination of thermal storage and electrical storage. All right, we're here looking at some water temperatures in and out of the chiller. You can see 22 degrees, 22 and a half is what it's making. Uh, and you see 28 is what's returning back to the chiller from the CalMac tank. Now the tank, when it hits 27 degrees, it is solid ice. So we're going to open up this CalMac so I can show you what's inside. They're really cool. they got nice headers and manifolds and um, pecs where the glycol runs through. I know it's loud in here, but you'll have to bear with me. This is cool stuff. spacer ring so anyway I'm just kind of showing you inside the cam oh I'm seeing ice nice solid ice right there awesome well, let me show you in here so you see this PEX cassette I'm calling it a cassette is um, this is solid ice so the glycol from the chiller is running through the cassette there are manifolds I'd have to show you a schematic to kind of See the size of the pipes coming in are what are they inch and a half quite large they're two inch coming in and um, so you can daisy chain you can stack these ice tanks together um, and uh, it minimizes the amount of external plumbing you need to put them together but this is a this is a 30 ton hour block of ice meaning you could run your four ton heat pump for over seven hours off of this and that compressor and the chiller would never come on. In theory, you just have your circulating pumps and you could cool your cool your house, cool your home, cool the space with just ice. Typically, this ice is made at night when the electricity is cheap, but we're trying to make it with the sun when we have that energy during the day and then uh, live off it at night. Kind of a reversal of what Calmax started, I think, in 2000 when they first started making these ice tanks. Hope you can hear some of this. I know it's loud. Forgive the loud, all the noises. But here's the multi-aqua MHRC chiller. Not only is it making ice, 
and the exit temperatures when that's 27 degrees going out this is solid that's how we know that it's made it and then at the same time it's making 120 degree hot water so this, again this is a simultaneous chiller it's making hot and cold water so so right now not 120 but 116 degree water going out of the chiller at the same time that 21 degree water is going out of this machine that's pretty impressive that's a heat recovery at its finest that's when this machine really takes shines because it's got a cop of 7.5 i think 7.3 when it's able to do this 21 degrees out of one heat exchanger 116 out of the other so pretty awesome so yeah it has specific applications but uh imagine not having to run all of this or run that compressor not having to run that all night long just have it run during the day so we're getting there folks solar ice is coming all right i'll add a few more things to it as we check out what multi aqua is doing with uh, making ice okay here's the, the other calmac this is the hot tank and it is hot this is a 120 degree tank right now I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it. I mean, it's it's not cold in this shop, but it's uh, there's the hot water. So making a very large body of water that it's 120 degrees at the same time that we're making ice. That's awesome. There it, comes. There it went little air bubble. They don't have an air bleeder on this experiment right now, so there's a little bit of air. So if they put an auto bleeder on there, there wouldn't be any air. I just thought it was a cool seeing the little bit of air go through the, the PEX coils. So, yeah. So, what do we do from here? Well, from here, there's a lot of different ways to use this ice. And uh, there's some three-way mixing valves that you can not necessarily melt all the ice out at once, but you, you don't want 27 degree water in your air handlers and fan coils but mixing it with the exit water from the chiller say at 50 degrees mixing it with 30 degrees gets you your desired temperature at your fan coil so you're doing a slow melt and trying to keep this ice thermal storage um, as long as you can possibly keep it and it just takes the load off of the compressor and um, so, a lot of fun, got a lot more experimenting to do, but uh, eventually we'll be making this block off of sunshine. The ultimate paradox, solar ice, engineer 775, signing out.